you know, you can um, tell a lot about something from a little one. And as I was on the porch earlier today with Jaylee Mae, she would crouch down, she'd bend down, she'd squat to look at something. And I just was caught by looking at her and I was like, one, I was like, my knees cannot do that anymore. <laughs> Absolutely not. Two, what are you looking at? You know, whether it was an ant or a roly poly or a piece of trash, whatever caught her eye. And <clears throat> I was, it caught me almost reflecting and I was like, wow, you know, she really gets down to, to see something. She, she has to bend down to, to look at it. She, she has to bend down and get to its level to admire, to acknowledge, to discover, to make sense of it in her own brain. And it, and it really humbled me because I was like, how often do I not take the time to get down to someone's level, right? How often I'm hurried, and I've talked about that before, hurriedness just is the root of all evil, I swear. It just, it keeps us from peace. It keeps us from truly loving each other well. And as I'm feeding the girls tonight, <laughs> You know, they're, they're picking up grass and feeding it to Sparkle Princess Metal and... Ah, <laughs> uh, just, I'm, um, maybe the old age, 30-something <laughs> young. I just, I'm taking more of a time to reflect and to acknowledge and they are teaching me a lot and I, I'm thankful. I'm so thankful that I'm honest with myself enough to stop, put the phone down. My kitchen is a wreck. My kitchen's a mess. If someone were to come over right now, they'd be judging me hard. Yes, but I have purposefully left it erect today because I've chosen to be present. I was like, you know, I can just wash the dishes when they're in bed, even though I'll be exhausted. What, well, I don't want to miss this. I don't want to miss any part of this. Exactly. We get down to its level and then we realize it's, it scared me. But I mean, in all honesty, how often have I myself just out of fear, out of insecurity, out of not knowing the, what the outcome might be? How many times have I let that keep me still and keep me from digging deeper, from getting a little lower. That's why God talks about humbling yourselves. You will never experience the rich richness of his kingdom if you don't humble yourself first. And then, you know, the Bible talks about your eyes are open to, to his glory. And you just, you can't, you can't even begin to understand the magnificence of his glory if you first don't get down to his level. I mean, yes, he's not sitting low. He's he's everywhere. He's high above. <laughs> but like Andalina is screaming, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. <laughs> There's a sense of humbleness that you have to have, but a sense of boldness saying, I'm going to pursue this and I'm going to pursue you, God, because I know that while doing that, your riches and your glory far go beyond my comprehension. And so that's why the Bible says that, you know, he says, do not fear. Well, why would I fear if I'm letting him lead my life, right? Why would I fear if, if he's saying, you need to get back to being children? Stop thinking, stop overthinking. <laughs> this mess that you might've created or this mess that you found yourself in or how everything has gone, not how you thought it would go. 
Get down. Stop seeing it from your lofty place. Get down. Examine it. And in that humbling, he magnifies things. And maybe he lets your heart know where you could have handled that situation better. Maybe you do need to reach out to that friend. Maybe, you know, that broken relationship can be rekindled. But there's a part for us to, to learn out of that, you know? And so I have... <laughs> I'm just thankful today. I'm thankful for, it's a cloudy, messy day outside and some of us were in raw, raw moods, but then, you know, we got outside and we started doing stuff. We started playing with each other. We started saying, you know, the work that I was doing inside the house really wasn't that important, but let's go outside and be face to face. Let's get down to each other's level. Let's, let's see life how you see life because that's all that really matters, right? We had a... Mommy. Yes. <laughs> we had a waiter once tell us we were on our way to my husband's grandmother's funeral in Detroit last year. And we stopped in a little at a Chick-fil-A, the four of us, to eat. Bye -bye. And the waiter, it was just one of those sweet times where the waiter... He, he, he just stood there at our table and he just looked. He just looked at us. <laughs> and he said something to the phrase of, this is all that matters. I mean, he just stood there. I was like, we're good. We have everything we need. <laughs> and he, in a sense, was like, yes, you do. You have everything you need. This is the greatest gift you could ever receive is being together and so I'm taking it again reminding myself reminding you as you build your life as you build your dream as we're, we're building ours here don't forget to take the time to get down to the level of those around you you don't you never know what someone's going through you never know how their feelings and what they're experiencing and how it's affecting them right now. And you may be distraught by it, kind of turned off by it. But God is saying, you are only here for my glory and my glory is to spread love and my love to everyone. And so you have the chance to actually help someone today just because you've taken the time to sit, listen, explore, and eventually, you know, that just makes everything a better place. So be blessed, friends. Bye.